Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for September 27th, 2023. Welcome to Caleb is Tarot. If you are new, what's up? I'm glad that you're here. If you're returning, what up though? I'm glad that you're back, okay? Leo, we're gonna go ahead and do a past, present, future read for you guys today. Um, usually I would do an ancestor oracle card drawing as well for all signs that I do a reading for. However, today um, I forgot to do it for Cancer in my very first video and I'd already recorded it. So I decided at that moment for Aquarius, Cancer, and Leo today that I am only going to do the, uh, the traditional tarot read for you guys. I'm going to do a past, present, future read, okay? See what's going on in your life here really quick, Leo. See what spirit needs to say to you guys or show you guys what you need to see over here, okay? Spirit, show me a past, present, future read for Leo today. Spirit, please show me a past, present, future read for Leo today so they can see what they need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see, please, Spirit. Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see, please. Thank you, Spirit. You want me to go one more at least? Man, you know these cards? These cards feel weird. I don't know why. It's because I haven't held them in a few days. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Also, guys, before I get into the read, if you haven't yet, hit that like button down at the bottom. Comment in the comment section if this reading resonates with you. Share this video and hit that bell, bro. Subscribe to this channel. You're going to want to come back and hear this. I promise you. I'm going to lie to you. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see what we got to see. Right there it is. Boom. Spirit, show me the past, present, future read for Leo today. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Whoa. Please. That one almost felt right, and then they wanted me to go one more, and all this happened. The Hierophant popped out. Actually, this card popped out significantly upright, so some of you guys are really intuitive out here, Leo. Some of you guys know what's going on. There's not a whole lot that people can get past you, okay? You're very analytical. You analyze a lot of shit, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys uh, are aware of the spirit realm. Some of you guys are aware of both realms, okay? Right there, boom. Two of Swords, upright for the past. Oh, we have the Devil um, upright for the present, and we have the Tower reversed for the future. Boom, 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 boom. Good, good, good. Hell yeah. We're looking good here, Leo. All right. I don't even know why I put them all. I got to put it back in there. Man, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. I'll leave these out real quick. We got the two of swords for the past year. So some of you guys are, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this means that some of you guys are, are um, let me just look. Let me, okay, I'm not even going to try. I, I should. I think it means that you, some of you guys are ignoring a situation or I think that's what it means. Um, okay, this says there is no winning here. The balance created is thinly veiled stalemate where no meaningful action can take place. This card indicates an impasse. Okay, yeah, some of you guys are, um, you're just kind of, you're in a situation where it's like you trying to fight for something, the other person you're with trying to fight with something, trying to fight for something. You're both sitting there trying to fight for it, but it's like neither of you guys are looking at each other's side. You're just like you're talking and they're talking and there's just words being thrown around everywhere. Nobody's really getting anything. Okay, that's what it's telling me here, Leo. Um, so if, if you guys don't come to some kind of compromise, whoever this person is, you're going to know who it is, Leo. All right, whoever this person is that you are having some kind of argument with or... Um, uh, disagreement with it says without some sort of compromise there will be no progress no real or lasting peace and certainly no possi possibility of effective change everything is at a standstill all right leo some of you guys out here or at least whoever's watching this is at a standstill okay or it may not it's not going to resonate with everyone leo but if you are watching this and you are at a standstill keep watching this message it's for you okay <coughs> excuse me uh, the parties involved are defensively engaged. Uh, they're unwilling to let their defenses down and expose themselves emotionally or to any new ideology that will pre precipitate a breakthrough. Uh, this card foretells labor disputes or negotiations breaking down and in artistic or, liter or literary endeavors, it indicates creative or writer's block. Okay, so some of you guys are having some kind of a... Um, are, some of you guys are having some kind of issues at your job here. Or a boss, maybe it could be a boss that you're dealing with in this uh, standstill that you're <laughs> that you're having, okay? Um, or if you're an artist, or if you're like a writer, or if you like write music, or if you paint, it's like you're having writer's block. Like you're just like not being able to get a clear image in your head of what you're wanting to put down on paper. I deal with this a lot, all the time. I'm a rapper. I mean, 
I'm not like a big rapper. I don't like spend all my time rapping like I did when I was 18, okay? <laughs> but I love, love, love writing lyrics. I love expressing how I feel through lyrics from my brain. It's amazing. It just helps me get it out there. I'm more of like a, I'm not like a rapping to want to be famous rapper. I'm a rapping to get the fuck shit out of my head rapper, okay? Like that kind of shit, so. Leo, someone here in the past dealing with this two of swords. Let's go ahead and jump right into the present here with the devil card, uh, upright. Devil card, upright. Devil card, upright. Okay, yeah. Uh, who just got this? A Cancer just got the same uh, card in their reading just a minute ago. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Cancer, Leo, okay? Uh, or vice versa. Some Maybe Cancer's out there dealing with a Leo. They actually did get Fire Sign in theirs, so they might be dealing This could be somebody, this could be a couple watching it, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, it's saying that you're stuck. It feels like you are stuck here. It could be a marriage job, it could be a family situation, it could be a living situation, and it's like literally feeling like slow, systematic torture to your ass. You're just sitting here trying to get the fuck out, okay? And you feel like it's beyond your uh, it's, be, it's beyond your ability to change, okay? Um, uh, it could be also someone else trying to play tricks on you. It could be like the devil trying to play tricks on you. I actually didn't even say that in the in the uh, cancer read, unfortunately. Um, okay, and it also is saying here, this is pretty specific for somebody out here. It's not relating to one single specific thing in your life that you're feeling stuck about. It could be multiple things here, okay? It could be a job, it could be the relationship, and it could be the family situation or the living situation. It could be all that shit all at once, and it's making you feel like, what the fuck, bro? What the hell am I supposed to do? What y'all want me to do, bro? I'm on the last rung of the goddamn ladder. There ain't no more rungs, okay? <laughs> You guys sitting here out here feeling like you're struggling. You're like upset. I would clarify this card normally to figure out what it is or what the things are that you're, that's making you feel this way about your life. But um, running out of time here a little bit, and I gotta leave for work soon, so I'm not gonna clarify that. Leo, I mean, yeah, Leo. <laughs> I forgot. I was like, which one am I doing? Leo, if this resonates with you, this message is for you. Okay, it's not gonna resonate with everyone. Okay, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, for the future here, we have the tower reversed, which is, I think, a good thing, I'm pretty sure. It says, many traditionalists still see, still see this as a bad card. We have found in our, God, these loud ass fucking vehicles, bro. Drives me insane. Many traditionalists, traditionalists still see this as a bad card. We have found in our experience that the card indicates a time of rebuilding. Leo, some of you guys out here, after this situation that you're going through making you feel stuck, after you get out of it, you're going to be rebuilding. It seems like it's going to be happening here pretty soon. So some of you guys are probably going to be making a change here, all right? We have found in our experience that this card indicates a time of rebuilding. Obviously, rebuilding can only come after a period of disruption and chaos. And that is an awful lot of stone to move. So this card does not indicate an easy or overly joyous time, but it does indicate second chances, second chances and time to learn from one's mistakes. All right, Leo. That's pretty good. I, I mean, I mean, so it still says that people see that as a bad card, but I don't see that as bad, bro. Let me put it this way. If I'm sitting here in my life and everything in my life making me feel stuck, making me feel like, fuck this shit, making me feel like, God, I just don't want to be here no more. And then next thing I know, I got to go through a period of rebuilding to get away from that. That's great, bro. Fuck yeah. Let me rebuild that. Where the hammer? Where the nails? You got the, did you bring the wood today? I'll rebuild right the fuck here right now, son. <laughs> and that's the way I want you to feel about it, Leo. I want you guys to feel like that. I want you guys to be like, you know what? That's fine. I'm cool with that. I don't need your ass anyway, okay? If it's a relationship or a job or living situation. I don't need this living situation anyway, okay? I'm going to go get my own boards. I'm going to go get my own goddamn hammer and my own nails. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start rebuilding my fucking self. Because I don't need this shit. And I hope you feel that way about it too, Leo. I hope you're sitting out here and you're like, man, I deserve better. I deserve better than what I have right here, right now. I deserve better than this. I'm better than this, okay? Keep telling yourself that. Because you are, okay? And if you're not, work yourself to that point. <laughs> work yourself up to there. Do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? From somebody who came back from fucking cocaine addiction, ecstasy addiction, cigarettes addiction, <laughs> fucking... Uh, What's what? Yeah, ecstasy, cocaine, fucking cigarettes, alcohol, and smoking weed. Yeah, five things I used to do all the fucking time, and I'm here now. I mean, I ain't got shit, but I'm sober, bro. <laughs> I don't need shit, you know what I'm saying? Love you guys. This message resonated with you guys. Leo, please hit that like, share, subscribe down at the bottom. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what resonated. Love you guys.
Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Love yourself first.